about 20 years ago, Sadhguru, I received a check for one lakh rupees from a retired major from Indian Army. He just gave his name, he refused to, I, he didn't give his address. And he wrote a small note stating that the, the money I am giving you is too small for the path you have chosen. But God has his own mysterious ways of giving you the rest. It had a tremendous impact in what I thought, what I wanted to do. Is it because there is something called cosmic forces which are constantly trying to help society and doing, or it's something else which is uh, influencing people to do something which is beyond their means? See, uh, the ideas of something wants to help, something reaches out to you. I was… <laughs> I happened to be in… you know, about four weeks ago I was in Los Angeles and I was staying with some people there and uh, the bedroom was full of books. So I just picked up one of these books and so on. The author is saying, the core of the universe is love. Well, why would the core of the universe be love? Because this thing has been always told to people, from heaven God loves you, all these people. See, if you are having a roaring love affair right now with somebody next to you, here, Will you look up and ask for rays of love to come towards you? <laughs> I'm asking you. No, you made yourself in such a way nobody can love you. <laughs> now only God can love you. <laughs> if you say God loves me, you must know you are such a pathetic, despicable <laughs> case. If you made yourself in such a way nobody can help loving you, you are a wonderful human being. Isn't it? So when it… we need to understand there is something called human thought and emotion, human needs of emotional needs of love, care, touch, this. The cosmos or what you are referring to as the source of creation or divine or if you want to use the word God because God personifies thing, we will refuse to use that word. Let us say whatever is the source of creation which we are referring to as God generally by religious uh, this thing. Essentially, it is just an intelligence which is simply exploding into everything possible. If you are in rhythm with it, you will rise. If you are not in rhythm with it, it will crush you. It has no love, it has no compassion, it has no intention of helping you, it has no intention of harming you, it has no nothing. If you understand the forces and ride it, you have a fantastic life. If you do not understand, it'll crush you. You've seen people doing surfboarding on the waves in the ocean. It is such a magical thing, just riding the waves. But if you don't do it right, if you go into the waves, it's like being in a concrete mixer, it'll just do that and it'll kill you. So one rides the wave, another gets crushed by the wave, that is all that's happening. The rest is all human interpretations. This is the first thing we have to stop, that we do not extend our thought and emotion to the existence. This is relevant between you and me. This is relevant between you and your family members. You love them, I love you, you love me, all this fine. Don't look up at the sky and say, I love you. <laughs> it will not say, I love you back <laughs> because it has no such need. It's pure existence. This is what you have to become. If you sit here, you are a complete existence by yourself. This is a full-fledged life, it does not need anything from anybody, it has everything. It is connected with everything in the universe, it does not need anything. But we want to play our games, okay, we can do all this stuff. But you need to understand right now, we are trying to extend our compulsions to the whole creation. It doesn't work like that. Existence is not trying to help you. You may be in tune with it, bingo, you are. Whether you got in tune with it consciously or unconsciously, somehow you got in tune. That's why Sankara said, Yogaratova Bhogaratava. That means somehow you do it, I don't care. Your Sankara, Adi Sankara went to the extent of somehow you do it. You get it, man, that's important 
How you get it, who cares? 